Greetings everyone. You're watching the channel Aviation Obsession. In today's video, we're going to delve into the world of narrow-bodied jets and explore the fascinating rivalry between the Boeing 737 and the Airbus A320. While they may not have the same glamour as larger planes, they're the workhorses of the industry for short and medium haul flights. Chances are, if you've ever taken a flight, you've probably found yourself aboard an A320 or a 737. They're the go-to planes for airlines around the globe, carrying millions of passengers day in and day out. They may not be as flashy, but they're the backbone of the industry. So, how do these two giants of the sky compare to each other? We're about to find out. We'll be exploring their features, performance, and what sets them apart from one another. Get ready for an exciting ride as we dive into the world of the Boeing 737 and the Airbus A320. But before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for future uploads. Without further ado, let's get started. At first glance, the Airbus A320 and Boeing 737 may seem quite similar. The A320 has a rounded nose, giving it a friendly appearance, while the Boeing 737 sports a sharp, pointed nose that might appear more serious. But remember, it's all a matter of personal opinion. Differentiating between these aircraft isn't the easiest task. With multiple variants and subtle variations, it can be challenging to spot the differences. Not to mention the numerous add-ons and smaller details that further blur the lines between them. Moving beyond the nose, another noticeable difference between the Airbus A320 and the Boeing 737 is in the flight deck windows. The Boeing has slanted windows that wrap around the nose, while the Airbus has straighter and more rounded windows. Engines also play a part in spotting these planes. The newer models of the Boeing 737 have flattened engine covers at the bottom to allow more ground clearance. On the other hand, the narrow Airbus body sits higher, allowing for perfectly circular engine cowlings. Additionally, Boeing uses angular winglet technology, known as split scimitars, while Airbus incorporates sharklets that resemble a shark's fin. These unique features add to the distinctiveness of each aircraft. But wait, there's more to the story. Some airlines opt for different wingtip technologies like wingtip fences or end plates, adding another layer of complexity to distinguishing between the planes based on wing features alone. Now, let's dive into what's inside these aircraft. At first glance, it's hard to spot major differences. Both planes are designed for short and medium haul flights, featuring a 3-3 seating configuration and often a front business class section. They have overhead compartments, a central aisle, and lavatories at the front and rear. However, there are notable distinctions when it comes to passenger comfort and the overall experience. Let's talk comfort. The Airbus A320 has a wider cabin than the Boeing 737, with a mere 7-inch difference. But that small gap can have a big impact on the passenger experience. For example, on Delta Airlines, an economy seat on the A320 measures 18 inches in width, while the 737 comes in at 17.3 inches. That extra width provides a noticeable boost in comfort, even on short flights. Additionally, the Airbus cabin has a less aggressive curvature, offering more room for maneuvering and a better resting experience, especially for window seat enthusiasts. The Boeing 737 has slightly larger windows, which sounds like a win. However, they are positioned lower in the fuselage, making it a challenge for taller folks to enjoy the view without bending over. On the other hand, the Airbus A320 has windows placed slightly higher, providing a more eye-level perspective for most passengers. When it comes to other comforts, it varies based on each airline's choices. For instance, Spirit Airlines offers the big front seat on their all-Airbus fleet, featuring a spacious 36-inch pitch and 18.5-inch width in a 2-2 configuration. United Airlines, on the other hand, provides first-class 2-2 seats on their 737s with 37 inches of pitch and 20.7 inches of width, along with Economy Plus seats in a 3-3 setup offering 34 inches of pitch and 17.3 inches of width. Now let's hear what the pilots have to say. It seems they have mixed feelings about these aircraft. The Boeing 737, being a veteran in the industry, resonates more with old-school pilots. Its floor-mounted yoke and control cables offer a hands-on, tactile flying experience, like traditional aviation. On the flip side, the Airbus A320 embraces fly-by-wire technology. It relies on sensors and electronics to control the aircraft, with electrical signals interpreting the pilot's input. While this might feel unfamiliar to traditional pilots, it's worth noting that this technology is proven and boasts an excellent safety record. Peter Bettel an airline pilot, 
experienced on both the A320 and the 737. In his article for AOPA, he shared his insights on these models. Overall, Bettel leaned towards the Airbus for pilot comfort but acknowledged the Boeing's strength in handling heavy crosswinds during landings. He praised the 737's ample rudder and aileron power, describing them as conventional and predictable. While newer and more efficient versions like the Neo and Max are emerging, the previous generation still dominates airline fleets. For now, the 737-800NG and the Airbus A320-200 remain the go-to choices for narrow-body flights. Now, let's compare these popular older generation aircraft and see how they measure up. Looking at the chart, we can see that the 737-800 is slightly larger, allowing it to accommodate more passengers. With a longer body and a wider wingspan, the Boeing aircraft carries a bit more weight. The A320 has a slightly better range and is capable of flying a few hundred miles farther than the 737-800. Keep in mind that range and efficiency can vary depending on the specific route and cabin layout. For example, a densely packed Wizz Air A320 might not cover as much distance as a 737 operated by Delta Airlines. After the unfortunate accidents involving the Boeing 737 MAX and its subsequent grounding in 2019, the A320 surpassed the 737 in terms of orders for the first time. However, the latest official figures from the aerospace company show a shifting trend. As of April 2022, Airbus has received 16,118 orders for the A320 family, while Boeing's official order count, including the Classic, NG, and MAX, excluding the Combi version, stands at 16,436. While comparing numbers can be intriguing, it doesn't give a definitive answer to which aircraft is better. Choosing a favorite between the two is subjective, and opinions can vary widely. Additionally, passenger experiences differ depending on the airline, configurations, and cabin setups. For instance, the Singapore Airlines 737 offers a business class experience that is worlds apart from a Ryanair 737. Similarly, Flying Spirit or Frontier on the Airbus A320 will be very different from flying Cathay Pacific or Qatar Airways. We want to hear from you. Which do you prefer, the Boeing 737 or the Airbus A320? Let us know which airlines you think provide the best passenger experience for each aircraft. Share your vote and reasons in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button and remember to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to leave a comment below if you have any suggestions or a certain topic to discuss for the next video.